Hi, it's Phil Binks here from Bodoni, North America. Today I'm going to go through one of Press Sign's features where you can select a spot color and find out the printable values that you need in order to be able to match that color. Now, the reason I'm doing this is because Pantone have recently announced their 2023 color of the year. And the color of the year for them is Viva Magenta 181750. Now that's a bit of a strange number for most of the guys in the printing industry because what you'll find is that that color comes from the fashion and home guides in the Pantone range. It's not from the normal printers guides which are called the formula guides and so you'd end up trying to find the formula and the color in one of those guides but press sign has the ability to find the closest color within one of those Pantone guides. And it also has a more powerful functionality where it will provide you with the CMYK breakdown so that you can print that color very closely using CMYK inks. And that doesn't matter whether you're using international standards. So you might be using the ISO standard you might be using the G7 based standard CRPC6 for instance or you might even have a custom standard for your press because you're running speciality inks. If you've got any of those you can input that data into press sign and we can determine the CMYK breakdown to most closely match this color and we'll see how closely we can actually match it. So hopefully that's of interest to you, to you so stick around and we'll go one thing at a time the first thing we'll do is we'll try to match uh, that color in the formula guides which are typically used by printers and designers to find which color is the closest to the color of the year now the reason we're doing this is if you have a brand for instance or a, a company that wants to use the color of the year because it is a brand new color and they want to be modern um, it, but it doesn't matter what color you're using we're just going to use this one as an example so you can be presented with any color you like and still go through the same procedure so what we're going to do is we're going to find the closest spot color first and then we'll go on and we'll find out how press sign can tell us what the nearest CMYK breakdown is Okay, so the first thing that we can do is work out what color that really is. And a little bit of investigation reveals that it comes up with the hex value of BB2649. Now the hex values are well known to designers who are using uh, web design and digital design. So it's the value that often people will use to determine a color. So that's an sRGB hex value. We can also, from that value, determine the LAB value. And the LAB value is this 435919. Now, we can do away with the hex value right now. That 435919 is always going to be very close, whether you're using sRGB, Adobe RG, and others. So probably close enough for you to be happy with. So let's see what we can do with those values in press sign to give you some better printable or printing on paper results and and match that color as best you possibly can here we are we're in press sign and the first page that i've opened up in press sign is actually the single patches page let me show you how we get there so if you can follow the cursor i'll i'll just zoom in for you up here it's just here in the top left hand corner so right where I've got this red arrow now we start off in the lab density which gives us this nice uh, value of uh, colors here in the color wheel but we're going to firstly go to this spot button right there so I'm going to click on the spot button and we'll see how that gets us along so the spot button opens up a window and let me just zoom into it a little bit for you and what we can do is enter 
the lab value. So we've got the lab value at the bottom left hand side of the, of the screen. But what we can do here is enter a lab value. So this is the L, A and B areas. So our lab value is 43. Simply type it in. 43, 59. And I'm tabbing across and then 19. And I'll press the return button. And that then brings up the values within the screen. So let me just bring that to you so you can see that a little bit more obviously. And what we see is that press sign has a number of Pantone libraries built within it. So I can show you those libraries here. These libraries that I've got installed are not all of the ones that are available, but they're the most common ones. Interestingly, these solid coded version fives are the ones that have only just been released at the end of 2022. So these are the latest Pantone formula colors that you can actually choose from. So I'm actually going to choose that library by clicking this button. And then the values that we then see within the screen are only from this particular solid coated formula guide, which is the very latest one that has been released by Pantone and it, and it includes an additional 224 colors over and above the one at the top, which is the Pantone Plus solid coated that we've been working with for many years. However, the resulting color that is the closest to our color of the year, the closest color that we see here on the screen has a delta E of 1.84. We can just see that value here. So I'll just zoom in for you. So it shows in the press sign interface what the delta E value is and the actual color of the Pantone, which is the closest in that color. And we have a number of Pantone 7636C. So we can see that a delta E of 1.84 is not too bad. Uh, next to the actual spot color, uh, they're pretty close visually. So that's very, very good. So you could go off to your ink supplier and say to him, simply, can you create that Pantone color for me and use that color because it's as close as you can get to the Viva Magenta color that we already know about. So let's go back to this screen here. There are some other things that we might be able to do as well. If we are not 100% happy that that spot color is as close as we want it to be, then we can still use those lab values to create a CMYK breakdown. So let's have a look at the feature that PressSign has, which is under the CMYK tab just here. Under the CMYK tab, we are able again to type in a lab value here. Now, before we do that, I just want to show you a couple of things. The first thing is that we have a target value. This target here says ISO 12647 coated black backing. Now, you can change that target at any time under the new job settings. And I can change my target, let's say potentially to the CRPC6 premium coated. That might be a, a good one to use. If I just simply um, select that, create a job just to get us underway here. And I'll hit create. And what that does now is that will change the target value here, which will critically change the CMYK breakdown that we'll receive at the end of this uh, process. So this is the way that you target the printing presses profile. And if you've got a custom profile, you'd need to be entering that into the target standard. 
So now with the lab value that we have on the screen, we've got 43. I'll tab again 59, tab once more 19, and I'll press return. And what we're able to then do in this area is we've got a lab value and we've got an arrow here that will then give us a formula, the CMYK formula within the software. So remember we're in the single patches CMYK section of press sign. Click in the arrow button. And what we then get is a breakdown of the CMYK values that will most closely match that lab value. That lab value we already know represents the color of your um, Viva Magenta color, the 18-1750 color. So what we have shown in the screen is that the breakdown is 97 parts magenta, 51% yellow, and 17% black is going to give us this color. There's our lab value shown here. So the lab value is shown here, and the CMYK breakdown is shown here. And this gives us a brilliant delta E of 0.3. So it's quite achievable within the realms of a CMYK press print into the international standard CRPC-6. And that's the way that you can discover the colors within press sign. So I hope that that really uh, helps you to understand what some of the features are within press sign. So that value there, that 975117, can be given to your designers and they can use that when they're specifying the color in the design, whether they're using it in Illustrator or any page layout design. Those are the numbers that you need to translate over to them so that they can use it within their designs to get the brand color correct. Of course, brands can use this software very nicely as well to firstly discover CMYK mixes for a variety of different press style outputs and provide that data to the printers that are, use, are working for the brand designers. So I hope you found that useful. Press Sign is a wonderful piece of software for the printing industry and for brand designers and designers themselves. So it will help you discover the correct formulas uh, for your CMYK printing on whatever press you're printing on, whether it's to an international standard or to a color standard, or if you simply want to get the nearest color in one of the Pantone standard printer formula guides. Of course, Press Sign also includes the very latest Pantone formula guide for printers, the version five at this point in time. So if you want to get hold of that, uh, it's a great way of being able to see all of your Pantone colors and have a look at some of the other videos that I've made regarding how you manage your spot colors within Press Sign. So I hope you found that useful. Thank you very much for watching and I look forward to helping you in the near future. Bye for now.